Welcome to Poets Playground, Lewisburg, Tennessee. Tonight I am your host, Brand. We are at Time to Eat here in Lewisburg, Tennessee. You can follow me on Instagram at poets underscore playground underscore two. State your name, state your claim, and spit your <laughs> called Original Delight. Your touch is intoxicating, like a bottle of Jack smooth and sweet on the tongue. My head is in a swirl, and when I hold your hand, our fingers lazily intertwine. I can hear you breathing as I hold you in my arms, lying under the sheets, and the body rises and falls. With every breath, your hair is a mess, rolling over your shoulders, spreading out like waves crashing upon the shore. Your skin glistens in the light, Tiny beads of delight draped across your chest. The smell of roses fills the air. Candles flames burn and shadows dance along the walls. I trace your face on my hand. Soft as velvet and you nestle closer to me. Our eyes meet, we kiss short, sweet, central. Your eyes sparkle in the candlelight. Our bodies cooling from the marathon of sex and comfort. A roller coaster of positions and triangles. It is a dance of two souls finding peace. That human touch finding a release. I awake from a dream. The room is empty. Now I'm alone. I gotta pee. <laughs> I told you, you never know what you're gonna get from me. Hey, I love it. <laughs> Uh, one more. This one's called The Escape. The morning mist rises from dew, carefully placed upon each blade of glass. Birds sing the morning song, welcoming in the sun, the beautiful and majestic horses galloping in the grass. In my neighbor's yard, the fence is down and they are free. For greener pastures they roam, much to my dismay. With feet bucket in the hand and bridle in the other, I wander into the rising sun to fetch my horses from their brief fling with freedom. Show out e e So quietly and sells your dreams of heaven as he steals your soul. I am Joseph Lowe. I am that poet. I have a book called I Am That Poet. And this poem that I'm going to read from the uh, from my book is I Am That Poet. When you get up and go, have gotten up and gone, and you feel so all alone, may the words of one of my poems make you feel good and make you feel strong. And as you read one of my jokes or quote, I want you to be able to say that I am that poet who once wrote that he'd been so low that he could do the buck with an earthworm. But with faith and courage, he got back up. 
So when you need to break your mental change, you can remember a joke, a quote that came from my brains that made you get up and not give up. I want you to say that I am that poet who once wrote. <laughs> and this is a poem that came, uh, came to me when I was a 17-year-old Marine overseas and uh, doing some circumstances. And uh, I wrote this in the middle of some stress and some fear. And it made me realize at the time and era that I was in, and what I was doing at the time. And I said that whenever I get a chance, I will, be, I will shout out the fellow Marines that, uh, that was young, we were 17 years old, that we shared the experience with. And this is a poem that I wrote that evening. The name of this is Go to the Back. When I rode the bus back in 1963, there was no front seat for me. They said, get your rags and sacks, Matt, and go to the back. Without hesitation, without a word, I was pushed to the back like a cattle in a herd. It was same when I'd gone for a bite to eat. They said, get out of here, boy, with your nappy hair and those shoes on your feet. All your kind go to the back. Get your food in a sack. Don't you come to the front. You go to the back. You see, they called me a boy for 17 years, but they called me a man when I got overseas, shooting and killing for no reason I know. When I come back, I still got nothing to show. So when they set up to the front of the line with 50 pounds of combat gear, on my back, I told him, no thanks. I'd rather stay in the back. Have you seen enough my blood, sweat, and tears left on the streets of America and the southern cotton fields? I would gladly go to the front and give my life, knowing that there would be a future for my child and my wife. Knowing that I'm dying in this foreign land would not be in vain. Knowing that I'm dying for a united cause, not for one race, creed, or color, but for all. Thank you. Great mystery, grandfather, God, Jah, Allah, Most High. Source, I am, I am, Crystal Child, 1978. Been broken for so long with self-doubt and self-hate as I continue on this journey in this process of continued self-evolution and self-elevation. I can't wait to take my first vacation, really chilling with me, beaming so free, unbothered and full of life. I overcame you. I feel used. You took what I had to offer and you used it for your benefit. I wanted to be there and help you succeed, but you only wanted to see what you could get out of me. I feel play. You were there as long as I was supplying to your needs, but as soon as I wasn't able, you vanished. I feel weak. I allowed your words to control me into thinking this was true. I allowed you to manipulate me in anything you'd ask, I do. I feel hurt. You said that you loved me and I was led to believe that that was true, only to find out what love means to me, it didn't mean to you. I feel defeated. You play with my heart and my emotions. You took me down to my weakest point. 
You hurt me, but I finally woke up. Now I feel strong, strong enough to say no, strong enough to move on, strong enough to love myself and allow others to love me too. So as you tried to win this battle, you didn't. I overcame you. Come, come tug on the hot streets. Come tie those lonely aches around the stone between our hearts. Come, come tug on the hot streets. Come tie those lonely ends around the stone between our hearts. Come meet me in the middle. Come meet me right here. Uh, thank you all for coming out. Of course, I'm Frank, aka Frizzy. Headline of the night, of course. Um, appreciate being here, Brand, uh, the host of the show. Uh, security, uh, Tata, thank you. <laughs> to all the poets that, of course, shared and graced the stage with me tonight, it's been a pleasure to hear all of your words. You are amazing. Keep being amazing. You are dope. Uh, I just have a poem that I'm going to share with you all, and hopefully, uh, as I share my heart with you, you can take this from here uh, and give it to someone else, okay? We good? All right. This is fun. My mind wanders, wondering if you even know how to love me. These feelings of emotions that run deeper than any ocean and you haven't even seen the bottom. You see there are depths of existences that you haven't even traveled and I'm aware, which keeps bringing me to the conclusion, asking myself why would I even bother the limited time that we keep putting on these relationships that start today. But maybe they always seem to end tomorrow. So I ask, do you even know how to love me? You see, these depths through this journey take on you know, many things that have happened, causing issues upon issues which mentally our mind cannot even fathom. So instead of taking the journey with me, you'll say, let's choose not to take that travel. Saying that we can continue on from here to visit back there doesn't even matter. So I ask, do you even know how to love me? You see, on the journey through these depths, things start to get a little bit ugly. And being aware of some things, these temperatures start to get a little muggy, hot, heated, and bothered from his, from his story. You see, that even impacted the way that you know how to love me. So I ask, do you even know how to love me? What's more messed up is I already have the answer, and it is that you don't. So the relationships that we keep dreaming of, baby girl, I won't sign up for the issues that are uncontrolled by you because you'll make that decision to not jump in to these waters. So I'm going to take whatever you want to call this thing any further and to you make that conscious decision to jump in to these waters. Exploring the things that tore us apart. Got us even abandoning our very own sons and daughters. You know, the thing that destroyed our hope for beautiful tomorrows and caused you to forget how to love me. See, I want you to know that there is a fix. There's some things that I need for you not to forget. And queen, if you're looking for it to happen real fast, I'm your king here just to slow you down and say it won't happen that quick. But you need to remember how to love me. So creatively, I ask, do you even know how to love me? to feel safe for me safe for me I want you to feel safe for me oh, oh who 
did Who hurt you, who broke you Come on, expose me I am Joseph Lowe. I have a book. I am that poet. I am here at 1341 Nashville Highway, Lewisburg, Tennessee, at Time to Eat. Come to see them at Time to Eat. John and Amber, they will fix you up. If they got soul food, if you don't have no soul, if you eat the food, you will have some soul. Thank you for tuning in to Poets Playground. Until next time, sound off. State, state your, your name, name state, state your, your claim, speak your sh. Stay plugged in to Poets Playground. <laughs>